<laughs> I've never met a bishop like you before. <laughs> How many bishops you have met? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good answer. <laughs> you know what I was just thinking, Bishop? Over the last eight weeks, I've been skirting along the Eastern European countries. And everywhere I go, people say, back in Soviet times, Soviet times. Can you tell me and describe to me what life was like when the Soviets ruled in Latvia? We felt like, like imprisoned. We couldn't go to, to uh, other Eastern European countries. Intellectual freedom was not there. We couldn't read uh, books on, on, on end and uh, some uh, magazines uh, from, from abroad. Yeah, it was uh, not, not possible to get it. In, and if you have some, you could be uh, tried and in, put in, in prison because of anti-Soviet propaganda. That's uh, how we, with my brother, we were arrested also for asking just questions, how, how the people is uh, feeling in, in, in daily life, yeah. Were you a student at the time? I was uh, the medicine stu student, and uh, I was arrested and couldn't uh, study anymore so here. Can I ask you, you, you said your dad was, your father was sent to Siberia. Yeah. For yeah. what? What did he do wrong? Nothing. Uh, there is an anecdote that <laughs> when it comes to the in prison and they asking how many years, what is the, this uh, sentence? He told, oh, 20 years. Uh, for what? For nothing. No, don't lie. For nothing is giving just 10 years. <laughs> you did something if you got to 20 years. <laughs> My father was also for nothing. He was a, a road constructor. There was a, a shortage of everything, and he couldn't, of course, fulfill this uh, the, mm. uh, duty. So, and, and he was uh, sentenced like saboteur. <laughs> yeah. He was sent to Siberia like many other Latvians, yeah. Lithuanians, yeah, yeah. Polish people. Yeah, for yeah. how long? No, for eight years. But he, after Stalin died in '53, he could come back. And when I was five, then he, I met him the first time. These are amazing stories and amazing history, aren't they? Yes. I don't think we understand that. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but it is still going on because the same will be now in Ukraine. So the, the feeling is still there that you're looking yeah. always to the, yeah. the big yeah. country over there. Yeah. We are happy that we are in, in NATO, but uh, who knows? It's amazing, isn't it? Even though I come from a country only two or three hours away by plane, this mm -hmm. could be the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. But this is Europe. This is... Yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.